It's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. Okay, so I am still dressed with what I wore to church today. <laughs> I thought I'd come in here while my hair was kind of fancy-ish <laughs> and go ahead and do today's video. Okay, so I put the yarn in the um, blanket from yesterday. Uh, so let me show you that. So here's what I've got so far. Okay, so this, let me hold up one side there, there. So this is, uh, what I did is I had the blue, okay, I put the blue in, and then also since I had re did six rows, two, four, six, then I did one row of the green, okay? So that's kind of like the, uh, the sequence I'm going to do. So that's why I have the green at the top now. And as you can see, I ran out of yarn. I had eight, I think eight, let's we'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I had six or seven something <laughs> stitches left and I'd run out of yarn. But I know it's a lighter color right there, but it's actually the same yarn. It's just, as you see, as you can see, it's, it's has, it changes colors because it's the ombre, the Red Heart Super Saver ombre in scuba. And so what I have left of it is the light colors, the light color of the ombre spectrum or whatever I guess you'd call it <laughs> and so that's why that looks like that so oh well <laughs> so that is my blanket that's how it's coming out okay awesome okay so let's go on and open up today's um box to see what the next color will be that I will be putting in the blanket and I'm hoping the way in the way it's been acting, I'm hoping that if I run out again, that I will have the color that I need to add to it. Okay, yeah, I think so. I think I've got this. Anyway, here's the color. It's a very pretty kind of a wine color. I think it's another one of these uh, the bonbons. In fact, let me see. I've got this container right here that's got the bonbons in it. Yeah, and I've got more of it, so that's good, see? <laughs> so, if I need it, because my balls have been running out, I underestimated the amount of yarn that I needed. But anyway, here is the ball, so that I will be putting this color in, right there, in my blanket. Okay, so the Christmas movie I watched yesterday was called A Very Nutty Christmas, and it was so cute. Uh, thank you to the person that commented and had uh, suggested that movie to, for me to watch. It was very cute. It was kind of like a Hallmark. I don't know if it was a Hallmark, but it was kind of like that sort of movie. Uh, but it, I thought it was really cute, and so I enjoyed it. <laughs> so I think today's uh, Christmas movie that I'm going to be watching is also available here on YouTube. I found it. And so I think that's what I'm going to be watching. And the movie is Home Alone. <laughs> so it looked like that'd be a fun, just good for a laugh movie for today. And so that's what I'm going to be watching as I am working on this project, putting that uh, ball into my scrappy uh, chevron blanket <laughs> and again I will list below in the description box the pattern that I'm using for this chevron blanket so if anybody is interested I'll it'll be below <laughs> and uh, so uh, yesterday I also talked about a project that I was going to be starting it was a, a, a Siamese cat and this is going to be for my great niece's birthday in two weeks and so uh, I thought I would bring you along as I'm working on it or you know each day I'll show you how much I got done so I did start it yesterday. Let me reach over here and grab it. Okay, so the two colors that I'm using is Red Heart Super Saver Buff and Red Heart Super Saver uh, Cafe Latte, which is this right here. <laughs> this. <laughs> and I think it's got a little bit of the coffee, the dark brown color. And so, like for the nose. Oh, and then there's a pink that I need to pick out for the inside of his ears. Anyway, I'll put a picture right here. This picture is a picture of the three variations of cats that you could make. I am doing the Siamese version, but I will pop the picture in so you can see all of them. And so here it is. <laughs> so again, that is a Jess Huff pattern. I really enjoy her patterns. She does such a great job in her designing. And so um, when I found out my great niece would likes cats, I thought that'd be perfect to perfect chance for me to try that try out that cat pattern. So so far I have the front leg done right here. 
and uh, I mean, you know, yeah, the arm, the front leg. <laughs> and then I started the second front leg. I always like to do the arms first or the front legs. Uh, so that way, when I do the body, I can crochet the arms into the body as I'm working up. And so uh, I've got this much on the second front leg. <laughs> See? So a few more rows of the cafe latte, and then I'll change it back to the buff and finish it off. Okay, so that's what I worked on yesterday. I'm using an E-hook, which is a 3.5 millimeter hook. And um, so, yeah, I did not work on the Feel Better Friend doll because I was working on that cat besides, or starting the cat, besides working on the, the working on this. <laughs> and so today, I, I'm hoping that I will do more on the cat work on that blanket, and I need to go ahead and get some more work done on the Feel Better Friend doll. I'm working on the head right now, so um, I think that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day. Um, yes, and the, so the Christmas movie I'm going to be watching is Home Alone, and so let's go on to Tara Lynn's gift, and we will see what she has given me for day number four, so let's see what it is. I hear something rattling, <laughs> so let's see. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Safety eyes. Look, a whole set of safety eyes. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Terilyn. I can always use these. That's a, a very nice array. Many different sizes. So that is awesome. See that? And I think they're all eyes. I don't think there's any noses in here. I think it's all eyes, which is great. Yeah, looks like it. So thank you. So, oh wait, no, I think I see some noses. Well, that's cool. That's that's good. So there you go. <laughs> it looks like there's something else in there. It's, it's, there's something. It's green. What is that? I'm not sure what that is. I would. I, it kind of looks like a. I'm curious. I gotta open and see. Uh, it kind of looks like a seam ripper. You know, in like you use in sewing. Oh no, it's not. What is this? I can't get it out. Sorry for all the crinkling. I have to get some of this out to get to it. Okay. It is, oh, it's a poker. <laughs> See? It's to poke holes. I guess if you are going to use, oh, maybe it's if you're going to use safety eyes, if you're going to put it like on felt or something, it's to poke a hole for the, to put the safety eye through. I think that's what that's for. Oh, okay. Because you don't need that when you're using, when it's, put into a crochet object, but I can see how you could use that if you need to put it, poke it through fabric or felt. So, oh wow. So thank you so much for the safety eyes, Terilyn. I really appreciate it. Okay, and let's see. The next thing is our chocolate advent calendar. So let me get that. It's gotten covered up here. Okay, so here is our advent calendar. Let's find window number four. Here it is. It's right here, right underneath the number one. So let's open that. Make sure I'm opening the right side here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so there is our little chocolate in there. <laughs> and so continuing on with the uh, Night Before Christmas uh, poem. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. Okay, so I will be eating that little piece of chocolate in just a little bit. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I think that is it. What else has happened today? Well, we uh, went to church and we had our uh, little children's Christmas program today. Uh, I don't have any children that are in that anymore. Mine are all grown, <laughs> uh, but... Um, I really, in my grandbaby would be too young. So, <laughs> but anyway, uh, it was really cute. Uh, I really enjoyed it. We had some real talented little singers in there today. And so, so that's what we did. And then now we're home and um, oh, I stopped by Dollar Tree. I had to get a few items there for something. And um, yeah, that's it. 
We ate out today for lunch. My hubby took me out for lunch. We ate at the Golden Corral, if you know anything about that. That is a buffet that we have down here. Well, I think Golden Corral is kind of around, maybe at least in the southern states. I don't know about all over. Let me know if you're in the northern states and if you've heard of Golden Corral before. Um, I'm curious. <laughs> anyway, ate there. It was real good. And, oh, see my pen? I'm wearing my pen. This was given to me by... Um, Tracy of, uh, Tracy's, hmm, it's like loopy crochet and treasures or something. I'm sure, I'm sure I did not say your YouTube channel right, Tracy. I'm so sorry, but I will link her channel below in the description box. She made this for me a couple of years ago and sent it to me, this little crocheted wreath pin or brooch. And so I wore it today to church. So, uh, thank you. Uh, Tracy. <laughs> I, I enjoyed wearing it. And let's see. So what else? What else is happening today? That's it, I guess. It's a rainy, drippy day today, uh, but it's it's all good. Thank, thanks for the rain. <laughs> we are appreciative of whatever moisture we get because it was such a dry, long, dry summer. So, okay, I'm going to go. I ha Oh, I have another video I'm going to get ready to be making in just a few minutes. So you'll see it posted up when you see this one and uh, check that one out. It's going to be an unboxing. I have a new company that reached out to me and uh, so I got some of their products and I'm going to do an unboxing to show you what their product, how their products is packaged and what they look like. So if you're interested in that, it is cross stitch. I haven't done cross stitch in a long time. So I thought, well, these are cute little projects and so I picked out a few um, to review and look at and unbox so if you are interested in cross stitch whether it's counted cross stitch or stamped cross stitch then uh, check that video out okay okay I'm gonna go so I can make that other video <laughs> so and so come back tomorrow and we will do vlogmas day five I still have a uh, another uh, birthday uh, present or happy mail haul um or video that i'm going to share with you i haven't filmed it yet maybe i'll do that maybe i'll do it tomorrow it'll probably be tomorrow or tuesday maybe i'm not sure but it's it's coming up so okay i'm gonna go everybody have a wonderful rest of your weekend this is sunday winding the weekend down um and have a wonderfully happy upcoming week and uh keep following along on my vlogmas videos so i'll see you tomorrow and we'll have another visit bye <laughs>